Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming Copa Libertadores match day three tie between Tyeras and Sporting Crystal. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that right now while we load. I would greatly appreciate it. This fixture will be hosted by Tyeras in the Estadio Mario Alberto Kempes. The stadium does feature on the virtual red patch that I use, so we have it for you here on the preview. Here is Estadio Mario Alberto Kempes. Club Atletico Tyeras. The Argentine side hosting the Peruvian side here. Match day three. Two very popular clubs in their respective countries, so there'll be a lot of eyes on this one. Well, for sure, I've got a Tyara supporter or two in my uh, subscriber base, so yeah, they'll be looking closely at this one as well. All right, as the two sides complete the pre-match festivities and prepare for kickoff, let's take a look at our starting lineups. For well, Tyrus, they went for a 4 2 3 1. Santos, the lone striker with Mendez in behind an attack on the field. Martino and his feet on the wings. McAllister and Rajapanya. Favorite names. The double pivot from the strong back forward for Tyrus. Same formation for Sporting Crystal. Avila on top with Gonzalez in behind. Calcaterra and Marchand on the wings. Patel and Castillo, the double pivot. In front of their back forward with Duarte and Will. Sporting Crystal, one of the most popular sides in Peru. Tyrus of Argentina is a Copa Libertadores ball from Knight to Flight. We are underway. Estadio Mario Alberto Kempes, Argentina. Tyrus. Making early moves here, across into the box. I really had to stretch for that, just got a little toe poke on it, puts it just wide. Pretty strong opening salvo here from Tyeros, not messing around. Pretty good chance in the first couple of minutes here. You can hear this in the loud, loud, and back and Tyrus, the 12th man in full effect. Mario Alberto Kempis. Hello to Patel. Long ball forward for Marchand. Tyrus takes control. Another. Effort up the left flank early on here. That's been kind of the that was the focus of the tactics today. Was attacking this left flank. It's been very fruitful thus far. Oh, big tackle there, right outside the box. Referee says play on. Left flank uh, has been friendly. That's where I plan to go on this one. We'll see if uh, I keep going that way until we take it away from me. There's another cross and header goes wide. Here's a, my plan of attack here is to attack this flank and cross in and right back and supporting cast haven't stopped me yet. But they don't adjust to that quickly. Probably going to result in a goal. Madrid, he's very tired in this world. If he doesn't either figure out how to stay in front or get some support out there, if he's balls up that left flank. This is going to the right. That's also, hopefully, Keep him pressed back, although now you see him joining in the attack there. Gonzalez, what a chance here at Crystal! Oh, I thought that was a goal. I would beat there. Whew. Keep 
these fullbacks pinned back. Start pushing forward here in the midfield. The edge midfield is pushed forward. The sporting pistol. Quite a chance there that goes wide. Diaz comes out of the back. Watch Pena. Pushing forward. Yeah, you can see this is. It just should not be this easy to tear up this flank. But that was poor effort. Madrid got a hold of it. Almost lost it there. He's my focus today. I think I got speed on him. We'll see. That's the halftime whistle. Despite a number of opportunities from both sides, it is Bill Mill at the break. Let's take a look at our halftime stats. More, a little more possession to Crystal. Uh, more productivity from Tyaris, but ultimately nobody finds the back of the net. As dusk turns tonight over Argentina. For the second half. This crowd's still extremely loud. I hope it's a question of whether they can hear me right now. Extremely loud here by Mario Alberto Fitness. Spanish isn't good, so I don't know what they're saying, but another supporting their side, Tyaris. Loud fan base. Oh, wow. A big strike from distance. Diaz is not happy with his defense there. Yeah, he shouldn't be that. Very fortunate not to have that one go into the top corner. You can see the attacker that knows he just missed a golden opportunity. Diaz, the play out of the back for Tyrus. Look there for Tyaris as key overlapping. The through ball is misplayed. A little too weighted. Raja Pena to Martino. That one's not. Santos. It's a goal for Tyaris. Beautiful combination as they paint it around. Tear through it for Mason to Crystal. Just after the hour now. Ball breaks down for Crystal. Out around and back. Still starts up the left flank, but turns back central. A little variant of what I've been doing here. A little variant on that uh, initial tactical strategy. Needs to go for Tyrus. Now 1 0. Supporting Crystal this time. We got less than a half an hour to go here. Madrid, I've been picking on him all day. Too much contact there. Too far out for a direct attempt here, unless it's a really spectacular one. Should be able to create some kind of opportunity with this, though. The initial uh, free kick is defended out. There, a split back. Oh, they're on the counter here, and they mean business. Okay. Too much weight in the blue ball. A too far forward. Pistol. They've had a hard time countering, even though they've won possession. They haven't been able to quickly get it up the pitch and create a chance. Pistol, I think only a couple of chances so far in this one. Here's one. Nice ball into the box, a little too far out for a header, but an opportunity there to create something for Crystal, but it's defended by Tyaris. Ooh, optimistic ball there. Stoppage time. 
Crystal run out of time to equalize. This will be the last attempt if they've got enough time to make one. That is probably going to do it. Stadio Mario Alberto Kempis erupts at the full time whistle. 1 0 to their side, a 65th minute goal from Santos. Let's take a man on that tenders. Let's take a look at our highlights. Tyaris kicked things off and then basically spent the whole first half firing up this left flank. Created a number of chances. This one here, Santos, little toe poke wide. 27th minute, second verse, same as the first. Cross in, this time a header that goes wide. Eighth minute, Sporting Crystal. Get a chance here. Gonzalez behind, and this he should have finished that. Unfortunate there by Gonzalez. That probably really should have been a goal for Crystal. Just misses wide there. Gonzalez again here takes one from distance. Again, keeper was beat, but puts the attempt wide. 65th minute. Here's the breakthrough for Tyaris. Again, it does start up that left flank, but comes back central. They're pinging it around beautifully, and Mendez finds Santos on the final pass there, that combination. A number of passes in this combination building up here. Santos taps it home. Maybe a little more to tap there. And that's it from the Estadio Mario Alberto Kempes in Argentina. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, share it with a friend, leave a comment. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that right now. I would greatly appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for watching.